Hey guys, it's Zinny Dark Sky here with another episode of Dark Sky Game News. And today we have a fairly medio mediocre amount of news today, but I've scrounged around and found the latest in game news for the week um, that you're most likely interested in. There are quite a bit of controversial stories uh, this week, but not many of those things are really stories that I feel like you guys, the general audience, would enjoy. So if you'd like me to hit some of those controversial story stories, let me know in the comments down below. Um, other than that, uh, like for example, for example, uh, our first story today involves in uh, EA in a scandal. Who would have guessed? <laughs> Recently, EA come under fire came under fire because of an alleged employee who seems to be selling FIFA 21 Ultimate Team items on a black market of sorts uh, for real money. Apparently, EA has revealed a statement. Uh, released a statement basically stating that they are already investigating this news and they have stated that they uh, any account found with items that they can tell weren't received legitimately will be permanently banned um, the next story though is the publisher behind medieval dynasty and lumberjacks dynasty along with the studio virtual magic games have announced wild west dynasty these games have been a fairly popular um, series and they usually entail a certain character during a certain time or in a certain setting attempting to settle down and create a dynasty um doing things like creating a lineage founding a settlement and creating a thriving community ultimately and I recently just did a, uh, a reaction to this so if you want to go check out the trailer you can go check out my reaction on the channel as well are you guys a fan of rust but you don't play on PC well I have exciting news for you rust will be finally be launching on PS4 and Xbox one this spring so get ready to survive because it ain't easy not on rust uh, Monster Hunter Stories 2 Wings of Ruin will be launching on July 9th for the Switch and PC for those Monster Hunter Stories fa uh, fans out there. For those that don't know, Monster Hunter Stories are games in the Monster Hunter series that are usually much more narratively driven and a little bit more of a casual experience than the normal grind of a Monster Hunter game. They're very fun games and a good place to enter into the series, uh, so you should check it out in July. Naughty Dog is hiring for a new multiplayer game. We've reported on this before, but new job positions went up that give us insight into the multiplayer game. They're looking for an economy designer for multiplayer game. What does this mean? Well, basically an economy designer does exactly what it sounds like. They create an in-game economy and fine tune for things like cosmetics and personalization. Uh, these are things that normally ensure a player is more likely to keep playing to feel rewarded. Uh, the job listing wants a candidate who will ensure robust longevity, implying that this game will be maybe a game of service or at least taken care of over several years instead of just, you know, a one-off game. Uh, it will be interesting to see what they do, though. It could just be another Last of Us uh, style multiplayer experience, but we will see. Do we have another instant classic game in our midst this week? The new endless RPG auto battler style game Loop Hero has sold half a million copies so far in only a week and I think this game is uh, better discovered than described. So if you haven't played it yet, check it out on Steam. It's a pretty cool game. I, it, it, Like I said, it's one of those games that when you see it and when you play it, it definitely is a better experience, a cooler experience. So you should check it out. Um, Square Enix announced that they will be doing a digital showcase on March 18th. They're set to reveal new games and updates on existing games as well. The lineup will uh, reportedly include the next Life is Strange game, Outriders, uh, just ahead of its launch, Balan Wonderland, uh, something dealing with the 25th anniversary of uh, Tomb Raider, Marvel's Avengers, Just Cause Mobile, and new mobile games from Square Enix Montreal, and a few of the whimsical games from Taito, which is uh, Square Enix's sister company. So it sounds like it'll be fairly interesting. I'd like to see more like Final Fantasy 16 news and, and stuff, but and I heard there's rumors of a new Kingdom Hearts game already, but we'll see. Uh, probably wouldn't be, probably won't be there, but uh, we'll see. We we can hope, you know. Uh, Xbox finalized their acquisition of Bethesda this past week with over 20 Bethesda games uh, that came to Xbox Game Pass as a result from the old Doom games to the likes of Prey. Uh, but that's not all. Skyrim, Fallout 4, and 76, uh, Dishonored, and Prey are all seeing boosts to performance on the Xbox Series X and S. Um, although, for some reason, you can still play them in the 30 FPS mode. I don't know why you would. I don't know, maybe because of the lower quality, perhaps, I don't know. 
But that's not all news uh, that comes from this relationship, gamers. As it reported, as reported as a rumor before, Xbox confirmed that they will be having a summer games event this year, and Bethesda is involved in the planning process. The event is said to include more news about this partnership. This will be an event that Xbox would traditionally have at E3 as well. So here's hoping we see some Elder Scrolls 6 news soon. I'd place my money more on Starfield, but uh, let's let's hope that we see some Elder Scrolls 6 something, at least a cinematic trailer if not a little bit of gameplay or something but probably not because i'm pretty sure they're focused on starfield and then elder scrolls 6 but god i can hope a lot of hope a lot of hopefulness in this episode this week uh but last but not least just a little fun news to end the news segment today halo infinite developers 343 industries held a fan q a and uh have received we've received uh, more insight into this game while killing our hopes of dual wielding or playing as elites they confirm that you can indeed push enemies over the edge of this of the zeta halo ring in this game uh, they also talked about the game's day night cycle dynamic weather biomes audio logs you can discover cutscenes that show the equipment you're carrying and the time of day they begin the cutscenes and uh you know so a lot of good with a little bad um and i, I think i'm okay with this news ultimately though even though i do like dual wielding but yeah tell me what you think what you think about it down below though and we do have a lot of games coming out this week so i'm just gonna run through this list bear with me here of video games releasing this week tuesday march 16th Kingdoms of Amalur Re-Reckoning for Switch, Monster Energy Supercross, the official video game 4 for PlayStation 5, Xbox Series X and S, PlayStation 4, Xbox One, Stadia, and PC, Mundan, Mundan? I don't know how to pronounce that, but it's coming out for uh, PlayStation 5, Xbox Series X and S, PlayStation 4, Xbox One, Switch, and PC. RBI Baseball 21 is also coming out for Xbox Series X and S, PlayStation 4, Xbox One, Switch, PC, iOS, and Android. Samurai Showdown is coming out for Xbox Series X and S. Saviors of Sapphire, Wings, and Stranger of Sword City Revisited are coming out for, or is coming out for Switch and PC. Stubbs the Zombie in Rebel Without a Pulse coming uh, uh, to PlayStation 4, Xbox One, Switch, and PC as well. Tuesday, March 18th, Thursday, March 18th, my bad, um, is, we have Jack G coming to Switch, Maglum Lord coming to PlayStation 4 and Switch, Marvel's Avenger um, coming to PlayStation 5, Xbox Series X and S finally, and then Friday March 19th to top it off, we have Plants vs. Zombies Battle for Neighbor Neighborville coming to the Switch and Root Film coming to PlayStation 4 and Switch as well maybe we'll see some trailers for some of those and you guys will see some reactions for some of those coming up but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, I do appreciate it, like I said um, there's a couple things that you should comment down below about, but Ultimately, if there's something you think I didn't hit or that you would like me to hit in the future on the news videos or something, maybe I've been like evading Call of Duty news a lot or something, uh, be sure to tell me down below in the comments if you want to see more of that news. Hit that like button to help me out. Um, hit that sub button so you get notifications when the videos go live, uh, usually every Sunday for news at least. And uh, if you're on Facebook, hit the like button on my page uh, to follow and get updates with me as well. And hit that sub button. Last but not least, hit that sub button, baby, if you're on YouTube. Other than that, I'm Zane Dark Sky with Dark Sky Game News. Get gaming.